It is a new dawn, it is a new day. G'day guys, I'm Scott Ledger and this is vlog number seven. And it is a very important special vlog because it's the first vlog that, I guess, if I can speak, it is the first vlog that is gonna be shot professionally. Not right now, obviously, this is my camera, but I'm on my way to the first appointment and I'll be meeting Vinny, who you'll get to meet in just a moment, very shortly. Let's go. I've just shown uh, one group 332A and a C Grove, and he's not quite here yet. He should be here any moment. Uh, just waiting to see where he. Ah, oh, there he is. I found him. He made it. We've got a bit of vlogception going on here. Yeah, no, I think I like my camera better than yours. Uh, yeah, mine's. It, it works. It's multifunctional. Mine is. Who's got the bigger camera? Yeah. <laughs> it's how you use it, or so I've been told. So we've just taken a couple of people through our listing here at 32A Annecy Grove here in Timberley. Um, it's basically Australian investment property. It's six bedrooms, two bathrooms, two living spaces, two kitchens, with a door in the middle that splits the two areas into two self-contained three bedroom areas of spaces. Uh, the combined rent coming out of it should be about $1,000 a week, $52,000 a year uh, at 8% yield. That's around about 650K. So that's where the investors are looking at it at the moment. Yeah, so we're waiting for people to do their figures, have a look at it, and see what they want to offer on by negotiation, and we'll just take it from there. But it's looking really good. So Jess from realestate.co.nz is coming in in about 15 minutes. So I may as well check some emails and do stuff like that. Until then, come on through. The team ledger office. I tidied up before you came because it was not very nice when, before you got here, in all honesty. Um, so what we are doing today to go through the list, which I haven't actually written yet, but normally I write a list. So what we've already done is we've already done 32A Annecy Grove. We've got a video shoot today at 57 Narana Road, which I've got to write a script for. That's basically the plan for today. And Jess, as I said, from realestate.co.nz is coming in. Um, those are our other realestate.co.nz awards or prizes. So she said she's got something for us, which we'll find out when she gets here what it is. Um, but I need to crack on and write this script for Aaron today for this video, and otherwise he's going to be mad at me, so I better do it. We've got a video happening today, and you're going to be in it. Ah. Smile. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> Brent, call me. That's the way it should be. And they all were there at, at 7.20. I was like, I've yeah, never seen something. Because if they don't, they get the boot. It's under me. Okay, um, good to see you. Lovely to see you. Enjoy and, um, your day, enjoy your lunch. Yeah, and I'll I'll speak to you guys soon anyway when this award yeah. stuff goes. Just have a whisper to Vanessa, I'd love to come on the trip. I will. <laughs> see ya Jess. So we just had realestate.co.nz come and say hello to us. It's Jess. Um, and she let us know that we came third this year um, for the realestate.co.nz across the whole country. Number one was Brent Bastian and number two was Marty Ritchie from Parramatta and Harcourts and we were number three which is really exciting. Um, down from number two last year but hey we'll get them next year. We're definitely going to so keep back in and we're going to get some stuff done for this appraisal that we got while in that meeting and then we're going to head out to that, do that, go to the filming, carry on, lots to do, let's go. So while we were in that meeting with realestate.co actually managed to arrange an appraisal that came through off Facebook so I'll run through the appraisal side of what we do before we go there. A lot of agents go in and do a two-step process so they go and look at the property first, wander around for 10 minutes and go, oh there's a bedroom, there's a bedroom, there's a bathroom, this is great, cool, I'll come back to you in a week's time. And they don't give the, the owner any information about what they think the house is worth or anything along those lines. A lot of that's to do in our opinion with inexperience, so a lot of new agents will do that because they'll come back to the office and say to the more experienced agent in the office, looked at this house, what do you think it's worth? They'll put it all together and then go back and present it to the owner. What we like to do, Dad and I, uh, is we do a one-step appraisal. So we do our homework beforehand. We look really in depth into all the sales in the area um, using Real Estate uh, Institute of New Zealand statistics as well as Property Guru statistics and look at what sold, why did that sell for that level, look into it all so that we can go into that property and go, right, because of X, Y, Z, you should be between this price and this price. And also because we see on average over 100 properties a year that we personally market and sell, we've got a bigger breadth of knowledge generally speaking 
on properties in the intimate details to know that this property is similar to this one, this one and this one because we sold this one, this one and this one. Um, last year we sold 93 properties for a total of about 63 million more or less, I think just over 63 million dollars in sale, for, uh, sale price. So for the apart market that's the, that's the most, that's number one overall if my stats are still right. Yeah, so I'll look into this and come up with a value to go and see these guys at 3pm. With what you're looking to do, you assume that you're going to be adding value yeah, yeah. To, to everything. Um, so it just depends on your timing. If you went, we need to sell it right the second, you can definitely sell it yep. as it is. You would end up taking less than what it could potentially be worth. But hey, that's, that's how it works with doing the work. Mm -hmm. Any questions, Thank let you. us know. No, that's great. Appreciate your time. Not an issue. Well, we'll carry on to our next one. So yeah, no, that's quite cool. Needs a bit of work, but they're prepared to do the work and it's going to be really fantastic when it's finished. Um, hopefully, if they ever decide to sell, they'll give me a call. Pinehaven Primary School, it's where my mum went to primary school. Back in the day, not way too back in the day, but yeah. Sold that, number 10, Forest Road. Really like it through Pineapple, it's such a nice little community area. There's a cafe around the corner here. The school bus goes through, the normal buses go through. Walking distance to Sawstring Village. It's just a really nice homely feel, you know. Jocelyn Crescent sold a number of them up through there, a couple of them twice. Sold that one there in the corner. I've sold a couple down there. Sold that one there at the back. This house just here. It's my grandmother's old house, way back in the day. Sold this one in here on Blue Mountain on the corner a little while back for 1.22 million. Sold the Chapman Taylor in here on the left that got subdivided up into four lots. Sold all of those. Took Chatsworth Road. Sold. Sold this one in here as well. Sold 18 up there too. This big one in here on the left behind all the trees, the stop sign. That was a cool house in there. Couple in coats sold in through there. Sold this one directly in front of us, here on the square. Sold a couple down there corner. And these are all army buildings from here. Silver Stream, I think it's the mixture of convenience, locality close to Wellington. So the further away from Wellington you go, generally the prices drop. So in terms of your difference between say Brownell and Silver Stream is quite massive because it's further away. Silver Stream's got a village with a decile 10 primary school. It's close to public transport, straight onto the train into the bus. You can get everything from the village there. There's supermarket hairdressers, doctors, dentists, pub, everything. Basically everything's there so you don't have to travel any further out. Um, and the commute's a little bit quicker, which people like. Location, everything. Location, location, location. As cringy as that is, that is real estate in a nutshell. You can't change the land that your house is built on. You can change the house as much as you like, but you can't change the land. Uh, now we're going to 57 Narana Road in Timberley, um, which is just around the corner from Annecy Grove where we were at this morning, and we're going to do a property video, a short and sweet tour to show off the house for buyers that want to see the scope and the scale and sort of see it online a little bit better for our social media, which we're reaching more people via social media than we are on trademeandrealestate.co at the moment. So mum and Anne will have already been there for about an hour, getting the place photo ready. So they go in early, they move furniture around, they sort of semi-stage the property with the owner's own furniture and make it look as, as good as you can possibly get it to look. Um, and so that there's nothing sort of sticking out in the photos that make the photos look naff. Um, and it's just an extra service that we do as a team, um, which we think helps make the properties look really, really good and help sell better. 58, oh, there's a team Ledger Mobile. There's, a, there's an Aaron. Is that Aaron from The Way Home? Is that Aaron from The Way Home? <laughs> it is. Working hard or hardly working. Ha ha! <laughs> hey mate. Yeah, good day. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. Awesome. So you've shot inside already? No, you've done drone. Just yeah, done drone. Just done. Sweet. I haven't seen this place yet. Dad listed this over the weekend, I believe. Um, so these guys have bought over the hill, so they need to sell their place as soon as possible so they don't get cashed out of another offer, um, out of their offer. So come through, get the photos done, get the video done, and we should be launching this property in a couple of days. So once this is live, 
this should also be on the internet if it's not sold already. Um, but this is 57 Narana Road. I believe it's going to be inquiries over 439? 429? I'll confirm. Okay. <laughs> I think my brother and his girlfriend spent all Sunday tidying up the back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hopefully they've done an alright job. We'll go and see. Yeah. All the stuff we've moved. That would have been in the photos otherwise. Cool. The extra mile. We're about to see some stuff. Okay. Bedroom. Laundry. So this is a this is what's called a modulock home, so it's like a lockwood. So it's got this timber throughout. You guys been hard at work? <laughs> G'day guys, I'm Scott Ledger of Tim Ledger Bailey's and welcome to 57 Narana Road. Let's go have a look. How are ya? You good aren't ya? <laughs> okay, I'll put that in. Yep. We've got a lot of help. And also, say my words in a correct manner. We've got a lot of house on offer here, so if you're a first home buyer, growing family, or even an investor, buyer inquiry of a foot. Of a foot! We've got a lot of house on offer here, so if you're a first home buyer, growing family, or even an investor, buyer inquiry of a 429, welcome to number 57 Narana Road. Yeah, those bedrooms, yeah. Here, so if you're a first home buyer, growing family, or even an investor, buyer, inquiry of a 429, you've got to check this one out. G'day guys, I'm Scott Ledger of Team Ledger Bailey's Hut Valley and this is 57 Narana Road. Let's go have a look. Alright, you're good? Good. Uh, let's go around the back. The owners have purchased our swear, so if you've liked what we've seen here today, give myself or team a call. Our owners have already purchased our square, so if you've liked what you've seen here today, and then she did on the tramp, she did like the feet to hands, feet to hands, so I tried that, landed on my feet and just crumpled into my face with my knees, bleeding everywhere, tooth came out. Oh, the mess. Yeah. Our owners have already purchased our square, so if you've liked what you've seen here today, give myself or the team a call to arrange your private viewing. I've been Scott Ledger on behalf of Team Ledger Bailey's Hut Valley, and we look forward to hearing from you. Yeah, no, I'm not going in there. <laughs> <laughs> Granny flat. The split level design spreads out over 150 square metres of generous living space with vaulted ceilings and large windows to allow sunshine in all year round. The home consists of four double bedrooms, two living spaces including a rumpus room and an office downstairs. Or make it five bedrooms, the choice is yours. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So we just finished shooting uh, the video for 57 Narana Road that we've got coming onto the market this week. Um, and I just wanted to touch on something we sort of talked about a little bit earlier in the day about um, celebrating success and what we've done. So Team Ledger, last year we had a massive year for our team. Uh, we sold 93 properties for a, a gross uh, sale price of over $63 million. The most expensive home that we sold was a gorgeous home out in Parks Line for $1.957 million. I'll show you a little bit of it now. And then that ranged through the cheapest property that we sold, which was a section for $105,000. We do the whole spectrum of property, uh, and it's something that we really enjoy. We've got some really big things coming as a team that we've been working on for quite a few months. We can potentially tease you a little bit of it, but we'll see what we can get out there. Um, but basically, we've got some big moves coming. We're looking to expand as a team, so that's where you guys come in. If you've ever considered working in real estate, if you've ever thought that that would be something fun and you want to put yourself around a high-performing uh, sales team, I want to hear from you. If you're currently working in sales, whether it's real estate or not real estate, and you've considered wanting to boost your sales and get into that high performing culture that really drives for success and really celebrates that success once we get it, I'd love to hear from you as well. Confidentially of course, but give me a call, my number will be on the screen. I uh, would love to hear from you because we are, we are looking to get bigger. We're not done yet, but we are done the vlog, so call me. <laughs>